So, welcome back for another update, 3.22. I'm here in my Hercules. Um, I did pretty well for myself. I made a whole bunch of, bunch of credits, bought some cool ships, and now the fleet's expanded. So, thanks to everybody who helped out, you know who you are. Uh, just taking a little peek around the inside of this of the uh, Hercules. So this is basically a big cargo ship with a nice interior. It's probably one of my favorite ships. Um, just because it's so versatile. I don't care that it's not the best combat ship, it's just so versatile. You can get tanks in there, you can get buggies in there, you can get hover, car, hover bikes, you can get race cars. Here's the little uh, eating area for the crew. It's such a cool ship. The insides of these ships are top notch. It's not the aesthetic that I like the best, but when you've got a big, when you've got a lot of crew and stuff, it's pretty cool. So we're going down. Here we are in the cargo hall. That's probably about 200,000 worth of recycled stuff. And then a little bit of uh, scrap. So there's the C2 from the outside, I think. That's the one that you'll get. You can just buy them. I think they're about 5 million. Um, I started off with... 40,000 or 20,000 or whatever the starting credits was and I just did a hell of a lot of salvaging and bounty missions So here I am. I liked it so much. I got myself a skin So we got the black skin on the Hercules. It's a C2. Yeah, I was right and uh, I always upgrade the uh, quantum drive and the shield generator because It's like halves your journey time. So yeah, Definitely get that. It's worth the mission to Orison to uh, pick up the parts if you can't. You have to you have to look it up, but usually it's Orison or there are I think there's another location you can go. It depends what ship you get. But getting the best jump drive and the best shield generators is uh, always a good idea. They do take a while to charge up. That's the only downside. But the travel time and just they're much more, you got much more survival time if you get jumped. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So I think I have a little look around here. There's like a, a docking collar on my uh, Corsair. This is the ship I actually own. I upgraded my Andromeda. So in the last video, I had the Andromeda. That was my pledge ship. I upgraded to the Corsair. Uh, I prefer the aesthetic. It doesn't have as much cargo space, but you can still get vehicles in there. You can still do multi-crew. Um, it actually has better turret setup. It's like a little bit more combat oriented. So you can do multi-crew and go and do bounties with it. Um, you can also do a bit of uh, salvaging, you can take a bit of cargo. Uh, just, you can't take the biggest, that's the only problem. You can't take the biggest type of crate. And that's why I ended up saving up and getting my C2 and that's why I like the C2 much so much because the amount of times I had to just ditch quant because it wouldn't fit in the in the back of the ship you get a really big oh this is what I love about this as well the co-pilot seat slides below it so you've got two turrets either side left and right so there's two players on each side and then you've got another player below you and then the player the the, the uh pilot has a bunch of forward facing and another thing i love about the corsair you can get out on the roof which is super cool and has loads of like tactical um there's loads of tactical sort of stuff you can do with that so i love that it's quite a rare feature as well for a ship for them to let you go up to the roof i think there's a couple of ships that do it but this is one of them so yeah the corsair this one's my actual plant ship uh, and then I also bought this. This is probably the main, the main, where I'm flying with people. We fly in a wing. We all have Ion or Ares Inferno. Depending, I, I prefer the uh, Ion. It's more long range focused, I guess, whereas the Inferno is a little bit more suited to close range. But the missile layout's amazing on these things. They don't like fly like a fighter is a heavy fighter so it is a bit sluggish but you it doesn't it doesn't matter it's a really nice platform to fly with 
Um, I think what I'm actually... What was I doing here? I think what I did here was I quickly snuck in the back of the uh, commons. Um, I probably cut it off camera, but I just quickly snuck in there and sold the uh, recycle. But see, what we do is we take a gang of vultures and they'll all salvage wrecks and then we'll load everything. So I, I would basically go around with the tractor beam and I would take their stuff as they're working out the back and then spacewalk back to the Hercules and we just stack it up. And then they can just keep on going. Yeah, I've already left. I've, I've basically sold the loot. And because uh, the Hercules is docked on Microtech at the moment. So now I'm going to take off and how they'll fly around. One of the best things about the game is the atmospherics. You can really get into the, uh, the weather system and stuff. Yeah. So here we go, we're leaving. That's the secret parking area for people who don't want to bother with the train. But I'm sure you know that if you play this. And if you didn't know that, then yeah, that's a quick way of getting into the into the commons to sell your stuff. So there's a vehicle hangar there. I'm sh you can find a... See, now I feel like I shouldn't have cut it out, but it, the video would have been too long. But yeah. So, um, I think I had a little fly around and then look for a roof to land on, because that's another thing as well. If you can find a pad, you can land on the pad. I haven't, there's been a couple times when I've gotten, like, penalised, you know, trying to find cool places to land the ship and, you know, it's nice to have little meeting places. The only you and your friends know, and you just sort of all meet there. <laughs> but uh, there's actually a shitload of landing pads on these uh, towers. Um, I'm just like dicking around at the moment, seeing how the handling is. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you're watching this in the comments. I don't know. Ah, oh, we did an engine cut out. Yeah, I don't know if. Um, they've put the new handling in. It didn't feel like it. It felt like it was the same handling, but uh, I know they've been talking about putting a new handling model in. I went onto their test server to check it out, but I, I, it was very confusing. It seemed like they were still working on it, so I didn't really pay much attention. Um, but yeah, here we are landing on one of those towers. Like I said, it's really cool. I mean, it, do you know, it used to be a long time ago, if you landed on one of these towers, it would take you down to the city, but none of them seem to work anymore. Occasionally I'll try to find them. Maybe I just got lucky one time, but um, it used to be that you could go through the door and the uh, elevator would take you down. There was never a way to get back, I'll admit that. <laughs> I never managed it, but I definitely managed to get down. I did it on Area 18, though, so it makes me wonder, maybe I landed on, like, one of those other, not Area 18, a different area? Because there's a whole bunch of them on that, on that, uh, Art Corp. I think it's Art Corp. <laughs> but, I don't know, I spend a lot of time just messing around with people exploring, because there's a hell of a lot to poke around. It'd be nice if you could just, like, go inside a few places, even if it wasn't, like, whoa. God, that great. I hate it. I hate looking over the edge like that. Gets me every time. But, uh... Looks so cool. And, uh... The distance shot of the... Spaceport. Very cool. Ah. So, onward to the next location. Yeah, if there's anything you want to see, just let me know. Like they say. I'm just messing about in this with a couple of friends. I'll be playing with my son soon, hopefully. We'll see if he can uh, join us. Look, it's just, it just looks so good now. It's so smooth for what it is. People say, oh, it's frame drops and stuff. Yeah, well, you get frame drops in all video games. And I'm recording as well. Like, it's more likely I've got a CPU bottleneck. And, like, the graphics are good. Everything's great, but when you start recording, it's probably my fault, actually. Because I don't really see any of those problems when I'm playing it. 
it's uh, it's buttery smooth. And I've done everything I can for the system. So the only thing I haven't done is the CPU, to be fair, because it's a couple of years old now, you know? Everything else is maxed out. And when I say that, somebody asked last time, it's a 64 gigabytes of RAM, it's on an, it's on an NVMe SSD, and it's running, it is an i7, but I think it's actually two generations out now, and it's running a 4090. So I don't really know, like, you know, without getting like a specialist gaming SSD or like a new gen CPU, which basically is like new computer basically at that point, you know, swap the graphics card, but everything else would be new, wouldn't it? So yeah, there's not really much more I can do, but it runs great. So <laughs> this new tractor beam thing looks amazing. I've been using that to transfer cargo. Like you can be a hundred meters I think, or oh, 80 meters from the, the vulture. And if they have their back door open, you can just whip it out and pull it straight into your Hercules <laughs> with no spacewalk. Anyway, it's 20 grand though, which isn't a lot when you've got plenty of money, but when you start out, 20 grand is the whole of your star cash. <laughs> and you can die and lose that thing. <laughs> The game's actually pretty brutal. I mean, a lot of people say it's easy or there's no gameplay. And the thing is, there's actually plenty of gameplay. I I've played space games with less than bounty missions, mining and trading, which it has. Okay, it's not EVE Online, but you know, it's hard to compare games to things that are already established and so old. Um, you can't really compare it to Wing Commander because this is more like Wing Commander Online, but they had to rebuild and do everything new from scratch. So, like, you know, there's no, you know, oh, what's the law? So it's like, oh, yeah, drifting into dock, baby. So we're nearly done for this video, basically. But I'm going to bring out a couple of other things that I've recorded lately. See if you like them. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game right now. Uh, I'm loving it at the moment. Um, let us know if you're active as well. Maybe we can meet up and do something. It's always fun. And, uh, yeah, pretty much. I'll see you guys in the next one. And, yeah, thanks for stopping by.